what exactly happens when we sleep why is it necessary and is sleeping lots of hours laziness or does it help us in something important the first two questions first again I'm going to refer to the movie the avatar remember Jake was laying in some sort of machine and his consciousness was going into the native guy's body the guy on Pandora and then when the guy the native guy would fall asleep Jake could get up again this is exactly how it is with earth we are the natives of let's say Pandora and the real us although not necessarily in a machine but the real us is lying down dreaming us here and as the real us lies down over there we wake up here this is why it is necessary it's not simply for rest if it were only for rest we would not need so many hours so this is what happens when we go to sleep we become the real us again we go back our consciousness goes back into the real us I'm gonna say a little personal story in case it helps make sense of the whole thing a few years back I went to a country where I didn't know at the time but I had some unfinished business there from another life and I got sick because the memories of that life came back and I was in the hotel room and I remember I fell asleep on my back which is not usual for me and I must have been choking not I must have been I was I started choking and for one split second I saw the real me it's funny because we think the real us might be on another planet or even another galaxy or universe or whatever but it was right next to me sitting around a table with friends very huge all of them very clear even though I saw this for one second I remember their size and the clarity of their skin it was as if their skin was see-through uh, very wise very intelligent and what I picked up from this one second was that they were having a conversation about their lives on earth they were all friends from back home but I don't know if they had also met in their earth bodies and in this one second the real me over there says oh, I'm choking and automatically leaves that table in one split second and comes back into my body and I turn over I turn to the side and I stop choking I'm assuming this is also what happens when we wake up at night to turn over our consciousness must leave our real body for those few seconds so that we can turn over so this is why sleep is necessary I'm sure as we become more and more aware and more of the real us comes into our body we might not need as many hours sleep but I, I can't be a hundred percent certain
But yes, it would really help to understand fully that this is a dream. You see, the show on Earth, the drama on Earth, is happening or was happening before each one of us arrived as an individual. We looked at the drama and we said, Oh wow, that I want to experience. And we came in. So don't see the drama on earth as humans gone bad or humans gone wrong. The real us looked at this chaos and said, I want to experience this. This is not to justify all the bad things that are happening in our world or the injustices. Not at all. But if we can come out of it for one minute and see the bigger picture, we will be able to handle it or to deal with it a lot easier. Or even to change it if we wish. We can change it. But in order to change it, we would have to stop complaining and stop pointing out the injustice and simply go into it and change it. I know this started out with why do we have to sleep but this is what's coming so this is what I'm saying. Yes, there is a lot of injustice in the world but it was here before you and I came into it. This is actually one of the biggest reasons we came into it. Now, back to the question. And is sleeping lots of hours laziness or does it help us in something important? I don't think lazy is a real word. Only because I have had many clients who have asked their higher self, how can I stop being lazy? And in nine out of ten cases, their higher self replied with, what's that? So I don't know why we have given the term not doing anything a bad name. So no, if you want to sleep more hours, I would suggest you do so. There are many sayings in many languages that early risers become more successful. But you know what? We have so many people that do rise early that have become successful and they're still not happy. So if it is just financial success you want, then you might have to rise early, yes. But try and balance it with other things you might like as well. And don't just focus on financial success because you don't want to look back one day and have regrets. Again, I'm leaving the question. Let's see. What exactly happens when we sleep? Okay, we mentioned that. I don't think there is anything else. There is a businesswoman in America called Ariana Huffington. Because she wasn't sleeping enough, she had a little accident on her desk, went to hospital, and then she changed her strategy and started sleeping a lot more and became much happier. And I remember in an interview, she said one line that really made sense. 
She said, ladies, I would recommend you sleep your way to the top. And I would recommend the same line. And that's it. I will leave it at this.